good morning welcome to today's broadcast um, I'm gonna be talking about mom and dad I don't know if this mic is on okay I think the mic is on now oh I actually didn't connect the this thing the mic is on I hope Um, sorry guys the microphone I'm trying to connect my mic I forget see the mic no day on I don't know if you can hear me but anyway I will continue um, this is a very very important message to everyone especially we the Africans I Take care of your mom before it's too late. Take care of your dad before it's too late. A lot of us, not to take care of our mama them until when they die. Then we spend a lot of money to bury them. And we begin to miss them. Some of us, we put the blames on our mom and dad, like, where were you when your friends were being successful? Because my father or my mother is not successful, and that is why I'm where I am right now. It doesn't really matter. The Bible clearly says, your mother, after God, is your father, your mother, your parents, your, fa your, 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 your parents are next to God. After God is your parent. Please, I want you to listen carefully. If you still have your mom alive today, no matter how little you have, put your mom on a daily or monthly salary. You may not have much. Some of us, our mother are dying in pain in the village. Why we are busy spending money in the club? Why we are busy giving money to the girls in the city even if it's ten thousand naira i don't know depending on how much you are earning no matter how little it is mama don't stay away from them because you don't have for some of you who are still you still have your mom alive go closer to your mom and dad i'm talking both parents let them pray for you. Let them pray for your success. I want you to listen and listen good. If you still have mom alive, if your mother is still alive today, please consider yourself a lucky person. Their prayers are important in your life. You can't buy mom, especially mom. You can't buy a mom. You can buy a dad though. You see, the bond with a mother and the children is huge. The reason why we men, the bond, bond between our children are not huge is because we are not, we are not the one who carry the child in our stomach. We are not the one who carry the child. And uh, uh, the mother is always around the children, taking the child to school, feeding the child, batting the child, etc. It's the same mother who is going to follow that child to school and pay school fees. But guess what? The man is the one who is providing. The child doesn't know that you, you are the one providing. Maybe later in life, that picking gonna say, okay, it was my father where they give. Everything where they are mine, na mama. The papa go collect salary, go carry half of the salary, give mama. Not be in front of you, he go give him. But inside our mind, as a child, now mama they do it. Now mama go cook. Now mama go even come feed the husband self. As a child, you go they wonder everything. Now mama, now mama go wash clothes. So the bond between a son, a daughter to the mom is very huge. That is why the women they take the glory. Women take the glory a lot. Yeah. Now I make una they buy us a gogoro. We will be men. Hmm? Una go come. I'll tell you how it works. Maybe when they come home in Christmas time, they go go corner, go, go meet their mama. Mama, 
See this hundred thousand. No let papa know. Say I give you hundred thousand. See your own. See the rapper where I buy for you. Do you feel if you feel it? Then when it comes to the father, sometimes now only go you go buy, give papa, papa, see snap, see snap, see my snap. It's not reality, I tell you now, so but you know, good. We should both, we should take both parents, take care of both parents before it's too late. I must confirm to you, some of you now, when I go go some places, they go tell you now, say, now your mama, they do you. Because of the poor woman, when I go come put, you, your, your mom will become your enemy. They go tell you, say, your mama, now winch. Ah, it's, it's the way they talk now, reality, oh. They go tell you, say, oh, your mama, now winch. Now your mama, they do you, like, for real? Your mama will carry you for Bel I don't talk say winch no day, but make I tell you now. These people where they a lot I can't really agree that a woman who carried you for nine months and at the age where you don't mature. Maybe you get husband, get wife. They go come say now your mama, they say that now your mama can't they block your way. Make you know come they successful. For real? Why the woman no find you the time when you day young? I'll tell you guys the only jealous way woman, our mother they do. This is the only jealous. The only jealous way our mama they do be say, if you marry as a son and you have a beautiful wife, and this your wife they dress well in some cases so. Our mama, our mama them they look say you they, my, this my son they chop this my son picky wife they now they chop my daughter my son money too much my son spent too much on this woman it would have been me now me my son supposed they you don't understand now that kind small small jealous now our mama feed the jealous and you guys saw those kind of jealous on Nigerian movies so. If you're watching me right now and you have a conflict with your mom, please, before your mama die. Because if your mama die, you feel no better for you. Because that woman would swear for you inside her mind. No matter how little you it is, even if you don't have, during the Easter or period or Christmas period, go to the village. Sit down with mama, say, Mama, please pray for me. Papa, please pray for me. Things are not successful. I'm not doing well. This is how much my salary is. This is how much I pay in house rent. Let them pray for you. Some of us, our parents don't even know our condition because you think they don't have right on you because they are poor. And I'm going to talk to some of you who are... Um, having uh, um, conflicts with your mother or your father please don't let them go with don't let them go to the grave with that anger don't let your parent go to the grave with anger very very important try to reconcile with your aged parent I'm not joking you know, if you see me say at the chop mouth the chop mouth waiting they do this guy I'm telling you why you are not successful Someone told you your mom is a winch. It is your mom that don't want you to be successful. And you believe them. Go to that river and bath. Don't see your mom again now. Because since when you bathed on that river, you don't success, you don't succeed. Ask yourself, since you are keeping manners or being a manis with your mom or your dad, have you succeed? Some of you you are successful. You are busy going from club to club without taking care of your aged parents. When you give them 50,000, that is it for you. Ah, 50, that 50,000 and until another six months. 
but you go to club and buy champagne. Some of you now, now, mama, now for mouth, the mouth, they hear, say, my picking, get picking money. And another thing I want to say is this. Don't ever marry a woman that will make you not to take care of their parent or to take care of your parent. Never marry a man that will make you as a woman not to take care of your parent. A lot of these things are so common. The women are, go are going to be so jealous, like, uh, uh, why are you giving your mama 100,000? What did mama want to take 100,000 do? What thing concern you? Do you know the importance of parent, parental uh, prayer in a son? Or a daughter? Some of us, where they take care of our mama, at a point in their life, okay, let's say, some people, as you take care of that one, mama, so or your papa, the money when they give them, they, they hide them somewhere. When they die, you know, I go still find that money there. Because they adore that money. Sometimes they know they won't spend money. Those old women and men, especially the women, that's so how they go to keep the money. They go to keep the money where they give them. Because at that point, there's nothing where they won't take money do again. She can't go and buy diamond gold, diamond or gold. She no fit go buy Versace. She no fit go buy Adidas. Mama owe not to wear sweater and wear socks. Eat good food. Then take her medication. Or, yeah. At that point. You know, I made a, I made a, I made a video last week. I talk about... Uh, uh, we, the parents, we, we, we train our children to, for another people. And not true, it be. If you check what I talk, you're going you to say not true, true, say, we they train our children for another person. I'll give you an example. Most of our children, they are, after we don't train them for university finish, their first salary, if they begin to work, now woman, they go carry give their girlfriend. <laughs> Ah, it's very rare before you see somebody will collect first salary, come go home, say, Mama. Even for NYSC, where did they go so? They go prefer to give girlfriend where they see for NYSC. That money where government give them, say, Ah, Mama, oh, Papa, they don't give me for NYSC. You see how much where they give me? I want to give you this. No, this small one. Mama, make I give you just this small one. Lie, lie, when I no go give. Even if your mama is okay, that first fruit, that they call it first fruit. Your parents deserve the first fruit, not your pastor. Some of you give those first fruits to your pastors. Your mama, your father deserve the first fruit of your life. The first salary you make when you start work, that is what they call blessing money. Or money for prayer. You take the money, carry and go in a village. Call your mama, call your papa. Mama, see the salary where I collect to as I don't finish school. Now I'm be this, papa. Thank you very much, mama. Thank you, papa. Thank you, mama. I bet make you pray for me. Kneel down. Kneel down on the floor. No carry anything put for your leg. Kneel down on the floor. Tell mama. Put hands, pray for me, Papa. Two of them go, to, go pray for If this one pray, this one pray. Say, Mama, I promise I'm going to take care of you. Hmm? You don't need to have too much to take care of your parent. Too. You don't need to have too much. You don't need too much to take care of them. The little, change small, give. Very, very important. So now, those of you now, where they go from one prophet to another, now they go tell you, I say, uh, or one uh, imam, uh, uh, prophet imam, say, ah, your mama, now they do you. Now, so you go, mumu, agree, say, now your mama will send you go to school, finish. If you now see what you know, we run see for social media, say. And you go go on the one that say, ah, where? Where, where this one come from? The woman self go they cry. Because say the woman don't owe the no get money, don't become wins. It's kind of weird. Hmm? But I'm gonna tell you this: if whether you are a Christian or a Muslim, 
please i want to tell you this now if your mom is not alive if your parent is not alive i'll tell you what how to reconcile with them even if you don't have a problem with them when they die there's nothing wrong going to your mama grave and pray leave the christianity one side your mother has become a spirit your father has become a spirit put your bible aside even in the bible and they tell you now a lot of things if i want to come into religion now it affects me i don't want to go into it in this country oh you boy when they see they go, go put flower for 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 grave what do you think so you they do Or you where they go put flower for the grave of their parents or anybody or their children or they are picking where don't die or their mama or their papa where don't die that flower where they go put what do you mean it means give me a blessing how are you the other side remember say i do you are remembering them it got nothing to do with christianity or religion they will tell you oh you are going to worship them no you are not worshiping them you are talking to them spirit i'll tell you guys about spirits you see this is a body the spirit is like a battery walking into inside me right now if somebody died the spirit leaves the, the spirit floats as i'm here right now the spirit is passing they are looking at me i can't talk i can't see them they see me they move through they can even pass in front of me like this they are going their way In this country, there are graves that they go there, go pray. The ones where their papa don't die, they go once a while, they go to the grave, bring a flower, put the flower there, and talk. It, that is an ancient system. It has nothing to do with religion. Those people become an ancestor, they become spirit already. You think you are the only one walking around on, on this earth? You think they say now let you they walk out for this earth? <laughs> when I think say now let you, they can't talk to you. The moment somebody dies, it becomes a spirit. He can't talk to you. No matter how hard he tries to talk to you, it's not going to happen. They are just moving about their things, going. Only God knows. Maybe they are going. They are going to reincarnate. And Oyubo oh, people say, don't do some device where we say they detect spirits. I've watched that many times. Sometimes I will come the fear. You know? So please, what I'm trying to say is this. If you have lost your parent, if you are not in good time with your parent when they are dead, and even if you are successful, you still have to go to their grave. Many of us not even remember where they bury our papa or mama. Oh my God. Oh. Now I make us still like Oyibo people. They go bury their mama where they go bury them. They must go there all the time. Every year they go go there, go put flower. Talk to the woman. Talk to the father. But we African, they don't take religion, collect everything from us. But that religion where they take it, but them, they get... When I don't see grave for America, I be. When I know they see grave, I see be like saying, no, I have any be. They take care of them. Good morning, sir. Yes, sir. So please, important as an African, if your parents are dead, go to their graves and once a while, and sit and talk. Oh, mama, your son still there. Your daughter still there. You don't die, but I mean, there are some words you can just just talk. This, they do the same in this country. They open the grave and they see and they see them they enter grave go carry flower go there you see them standing what are they doing talking the world is spiritual the world is spiritual so as a christian do you think it's wrong to go to your parents uh, uh, grave and drop a flower i don't think it's wrong i don't think it's wrong for me and many people don't don't even believe in the, this uh, deity of African praying for the spirit. They say our ancestors, so we don't bring wine, no, 
please bless us ancestors you put oh god that thing they powerful oh. forget to oh. <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's important that we talk to the spirit of our ancestors uh, uh, you know the jewish people they do you know not say jewish people they keep foul the way we, we african they keep foul to do spiritual cleansing they do it in this country they go keep foul they do they go spiritual cleansing <laughs> ah, man. so please that's my message this morning good morning everybody our long holiday don't finish so today is saturday tomorrow we go back to work yeah <laughs> enterprise say i don't joke with my parents uh bro i hope you are safe over there uh -uh. you they see me say i dare here the flex you they call me whether you they say whether I okay okay let me tell you about you see the the media what in the media they give sometimes when i go think say all of us don't find finish in a war okay even what in media they give for gaza it's not what they think is happening in gaza do you guys understand that what is happening in ukraine is not what the media is telling you that people are still living in ukraine people are still working in ukraine but they are still fighting war in russia they are still fighting war people are still schooling and people are still going by their business and they are still fighting war israel is fighting war in lebanon gaza we are still here work still goes on but the media go make it like say everybody don't buy when well, you saw the rocket that night you understand I, I will confirm that a lot of people there for street that day how did they record it even the media will record those things they say they don't they go stay for up they wait whether they record that but when they are when they go talk it will be like say they don't buy all of us finish <laughs> yeah that is media propaganda now so the world they rule they throw missiles, you never reach your one minute first, you don't go around the world. <laughs> they want to sell, man. They, they are, they, they are, there's what they call world, uh, journal, um, uh, war journalists. They are war journalists. They are on Abyss, any place where war they, they go go push, talk, make a video. You don't go viral with that. People where they produce missiles by themselves, they go buy uranium. I mean, I buy, they go buy the uranium, the material where they go take. Do, they go still buy them. <laughs> Are you getting the point? Uh -huh. So, war is propaganda, my brother. We are safe. As soon as they see where that um, missile, they shout that they where, where, where. People still they drive, they go. People still they go do delivery. As me, I day underground this place that day for my house. People there outside, they come out for outside, come they make the video. Come they ask where Solomon, where is Solomon, where is Solomon? <laughs> where me are they underground? The the fear. <laughs> you feel me? So it is what it is, guys. We are safe. We are safe. We are safe. For now. Danny, Danny, Danny Dice. say I'm looking great. Oh man, I I I got to. I got to, man. I pimp myself. I like to pimp and I holiday with them now. You see, I pimp myself. <laughs> I'm looking great. This is this is Adidas. This is Adidas. Adidas. Okay, this one is Nike. Nike, Adidas, Adidas. This one a New Yorker. <laughs> I don't know what this one be. Let me see. I'm, this 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 is um. Uh, this, I don't they use this glass now. It's more than how many years? This glass don't they reach like three years old? Clean the, the, I know they see the thing where self. Clean, link. We cannot call question. I don't know. You know the way where they take right the thing. I know. The thing where the, the what thing make me like I'm so even at night. I can wear this glass at night and I will see very well. People no go see my face. But I see even at night, even if it's in the dark, I can still use it. 
This is my Dubai brother. I will call you, eh? Make I finish the video where they do. So, Alex Okoli, how are you, my brother? Good morning. Ben William. You say I'm your favorite blog in Israel. Thank you. Happy weekend. Okay. Tomorrow, Monday, we start work again. But there's still another holiday tomorrow, this week. When we enter next week, there's still another holiday coming. So, they're going to be celebrating their new year according to the uh, Jewish calendar. Everything goes to Jewish calendar, not Gregorian calendar. Gregorian calendar carries Christmas and Easter. Am I right? Yeah, Gregorian calendar carries Christmas, Easter, and uh, January New Year. They don't go for New Year. Chuku Emeka, that's my brother's uh, uh, namesake, Ubudu. Um, you say, God preserve you for us, my brother Solomon. At least, your daily updates are educative. Shalom. Shalom. <laughs> Shalom and Shalom Aleikum is like the same. Shalom. Shalom is like, you can use Shalom like hello, but Shalom is like bless you. Bless you. You too, you go respond. Shalom. You understand? Um, yeah. Shalom is Shalom. When you say Shalom, another person say, oh, Shalom. You see that you say good morning. Bucket off. Bucket off. If you say, hey, how are you, brother? <laughs> if you say bucket off, I can use Shalom to respond, but bucket off, bucket off. Good morning. Good morning. Marishma. Marishma means how are you? If I want to respond again, okay, let me a phrase. Bucket off, oh, bucket off. Marishma, akoi bisede. Akoi bisede, ken akoi bisede. I'm very fine. Or you say bisede. Bisede means okay or fine. When you say akoi bisede, like means I am very fine. You understand? So. Christy Nazareth, you say, I thought you will be on holiday, it should be on Saturday. As today, the, 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 their new year, their new year enter from Thursday. Thursday, can't enter Friday. Friday and a half day, so they don't have to, they just, Kukuma leave everything to, and next week they still have another, um, there's still another holiday along. But all those holidays are biblical. Old Testament. All those holidays are biblical. Though some of their holidays, in terms of their um, um, polit um, uh, within the politics, you know, so so so. Def but oh, it gets more. No, the the the, the political holiday is is not too much. You understand? But that religion holiday, the day tied where we're like this one now. It's New Year. Everybody is no boss. Boss not the work. But when it comes to their freedom, the boss go still work. But they won't wait tie enter their uh, Jewish religion. Some of them, not all. Some of them we go still go work sometimes. Those where they involve go just. Uh, this one's where they don't shout. This small boys. I say they don't drink. Okay now. Okay. <laughs> they, they argue they are coming from club maybe they are coming from club yeah club no nothing else but club could be they are coming from club they just they go or maybe walk but they they sound like they are drunk they are arguing too much and shouting mm -hmm. let's keep reading There's no work on Shabbat, but people work on Shabbat. There are places that work on Shabbat, like hotel and some restaurants work on Shabbat. The Muslims work on Shabbat, they don't care, but not general, maybe in their area. If they want to go to some kind of work, yeah, they can. But Shabbat is not for working. If you're working under any institution, Shabbat, no. Yeah, but if you go to maybe... The Muslim don't care about Shabbat, but they will still have to respect Shabbat. No work. 
or maybe if they are, if it is their private job fine shabbat is meant to be a holy day you understand but some people still they go they don't care like restaurant hotel doesn't close because of shabbat hotel works 24 hours monday to monday sunday to sunday so you where they work for the hotel they go give you one day off when i work in the hotel some some years back i i i get my off day every thursday i get my off day every thursday i take the thursday get one work where they go do that time every thursday i will go do it so i don't have to sit at home so but they must give you off day whether you like it or not you must go off because under the government uh, um, uh, this thing you must have an off day okay Somebody said I should use the back camera. What do you mean by that? Is an is any ekene, my brother? Go, go, God, we continue to guide you. Thank you. You want to see those people where they go? <laughs> when I like trouble, eh? Not be say, oh, you both people, them they don't they shy of camera. In fact, maybe if I carry the camera, they go even come play with me. When I see, when I know how many people where they want big camera, where they pass, where they go greet me. Make when they observe sometimes where somebody greets me. They want to be on camera, but the camera is facing me. <laughs> so you will not be like uh, us. But sometimes you have to respect people. I will just carry camera, come and they show them, see, see, no. It doesn't work like that. You know. You get as a beer. People who don't drink, they come from this thing. They go begin to ask me questions. So what is wrong with you? What happened? You know. It, Okay, you say next week is going to be feast of atonement. Okay, are you a Jew? Are you a Ju are you a Judai? Are you a Judaism? Yeah. Oh Lord, don't talk about make you see them. They don't go now. They they pass. They are just passing. They've gone. Mm. Oh, if I did like this, I did even see. Yeah, when I like this, I'm, I can read. Sunday, Erex. I mean, next week, Saturday. Okay. Good morning from Sunday, Erex. A Judas. Hmm. Man, I can see. Oh, Mr. Ram Ram T J from South Africa. How are you? Good morning. M T Dakiri Rama G J. Good morning from South Africa. Christy Nazareth, King of, I don't know, Sunday. I love your work. So, guys, as I did like this now, eh, I, did, I can, I, oh, I can read. When I stay distance, I can read. Very nice. Now, you say my eye, I, I, I don't, I don't they pack with that. Guys, you see, once you are, everybody, let, let me just say, every day, or every one of us is packing our load slowly, slowly. <laughs> When you are 50, you don't pack your load small, small. When you are 70, you don't pack your load small, small. When you are 30, you are happy that you are 30. When you are 31, you are happy that you are 31. Say, oh, I don't clock 31, no, thank God. You are going slowly, slowly to your grave, you know? <laughs> you are packing your slowly, packing your load small, small. When you are 70, just don't say any time, the boss, they can't carry you. <laughs> when you are 70 years old, anytime you are at the bus stop or packing your load, you know what I mean. Eh? I know they see road again like this. Ah, I don't they pack to be that too. <laughs> ah, at this age, no, 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 I know they pack. I can't pack this time. I never even pack my load at all. <laughs> we must fix this. I'm going to fix this. Ah, ah. Can you imagine? Are they close? I know they see road. I can't they like this. I can't they read well. Ah. I can see clearly far away. So, what are they doing like this? Are they struggle? Um, Raman T. <laughs> he said the way I put it. <laughs> South African name is very difficult sometimes, man. Eh? 
Uche Anthony, yeah, maybe you just join me. I've told you about the media propaganda. You understand? Mm -hmm. Media propaganda, they did too high. Ten people fit mine, they go tell you saying at 300. You understand? Helen Peter, hope they are not dragging us into three we. I don't know what that means. Madu, Malaki. Good morning, bro. Remember we practice Judaism here also. That is my religion. Okay. It's cool. To be honest, the Igbos were the Igbos were uh, practicing Judaism before the um, colonial master came. Yeah, the Igbos were practicing Judaism before the colonial master came. Even in the 70s, in the early, okay, in fact, Christianity took away all the, we lost it. I think we have a pyramid, I mean a pyramid, they call them, yeah. In the eastern part of Nigeria, there, there's a pyramid. That's in way there for Egypt. It there for, it there for East now. Christi uh, Christianity just took all everything away from the 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 Igbo people. Igbo people were they practiced Ju Judaism. You see, traditional, and you can tra traditional, yeah. You see, all those traditional way with tradition way with the practice is also is also come from Jude from Judah 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 Judaism. Sacrifice, using animal for sacrifice. They still practice that today in Judaism. They still they kill fowl to do some practicing, whatever. Yeah, they do. Sometimes I see them tie something for leg. That's the way they tie for leg. You think it's not fancy, not be fancy. I swear. You go see them tie one thing red for leg like this. Not be fancy. <laughs> we could have go see that. They just take tie, come out all the power where our ancestors get. They carry and go to the way inside water. Come carry Bible, give us. You go carry Bible for hand. Somebody go shoot you gun like this, you go die. But that time, that power where our ancestors get. Yeah. You cock the gun like this, the gun self go. You know go walk. Or before you cock the gun, say make something don't happen to you. When I don't know, okay, I'll tell you why the white people took our ancestors. Uh, um, power. That time they 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 they, 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 they use those power to to fight the colonial masters. Now they they beat them with juju. They will carry juju, beat them. Do you understand me? So they brought the Bible. Say, oh, this thing is it's not nice. This is another. This is God that created the world. This is Jesus. They begin to read, and that was why they quickly translate the Bible into your languages. So that you could understand, they took some of our uh, 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 ancestors, teach them how to read English, so they could translate into our language, so that we could understand. So they, we begin to understand. Okay, carry your juju go throw away. Carry the juju go throw away. It's not good, oh. The juju is not good. Who told you juju not good? To use juju to wicked somebody else is not good. Who gave the power? Who gave our ancestors the wisdom? Those juju are used to protect themselves against enemy. If you come to my house to steal, you won't be able to steal. You begin to sweep the floor. You begin to sweep. People have fear of stealing back then. But with the Bible right now, nobody have fear. Bible and Quran. Everybody steal everything. They don't care. In as much as our ancestors' power have negativity, so do the Bible and Quran have negativity. You feel me? The power that our ancestors used to protect themselves was taken away. They all die. That wisdom, no day, nobody, nobody has it. All those people, many people where they practice voodoo today, they don't know what they are doing. Because our ancestors refused to teach or to pass the message to the next generation. Because they brought the Bible. 
But today, guess what happened? They are using the same Quran that they come to give them to fight our own African brothers. And say, hey, hey, you must believe in Allah. You must believe in Allah of Saudi Arabia. You must believe in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And they never told you that even that Nazareth today, they still have their, that their voodoo, they use it. In, in that your Bible that you're reading. King Solomon used voodoo. King David used voodoo. See, today, those who still practice, you see, those things go together with, oh, God, 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 don't make I leave these people. And they talk and say, I know they like to go into religion. Because you guys are not reading your Bible. It's the pastors is going to take this place. They will take a portion of the Bible and read to you. Even no matter how you read the Bible, you, still, you are still going to be confused. Because the Bible itself, it is what they want you to know, is what they put there. The original Bible is in Vatican City. They stole the religion from those whom the religion belongs and changed the narration. If they tell you then that the Jesus Christ, the white Jesus Christ on your phone is a deity, you say, ah, shut up there. You are idiot. If I tell you as a Muslim that you are worshipping the God of Saudi Arabia, you say, I'm stupid, get out, get out of here, man. That's what is happening all over Africa. They are fighting each other, fighting because of Allah of Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is getting rich every year by you going for Hajj. Millions, they make millions and thousands also die there. How many Nigerians die in Saudi Arabia this year? When they go to her, they, they think they are going to heaven, no? Mumu people. So because you die in Saudi Arabia, you go heaven. Even if you die in Jerusalem, you are not going nowhere because your heart are not pure. Because you are not worshipping God. Sometimes, well, I don't want to go into these things. It makes me sick. That's Saudi Arabia, how they treat somebody yesterday. One girl, they tell me about what happened to her for Saudi Arabia. Now, the same Saudi Arabia, when I take, say, they clean a good country. I'm not saying even Israel here, I could talk their own. Let me talk about Saudi first. See how they treat the women that side. If you keep money for house, you're going to collect them. Anybody wait on day for all those uh, Af uh, Arab countries. You are you are an African. You, you 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 tend to believe you are an Arab because you are a Muslim. Go there. You are going to feel the pain. They they, they can't even give you a second class citizen. If you walk in their country, can't they save money? You can't they save money? They can't say that your money don't reach like two thousand dollars a day. They go tell you say you steal their money. They go collect that money from you. The one where do koro koro, where me I know. You know the way it happened. That person feed they watch my video now. Because if they save money for inside house, I know they talk about even this one in Lebanon. No. The small money where they know say day for house where you save. They don't tell and say you don't steal money for. You don't tell they, they, they don't tell and say you take money for our bag. Immediately now so. She begin to make video. You still have still money. You guys know I meet a lot of people on social media. They try to tell me their stories. So that story, they take and teach you a lesson. He begin to make video of that woman. Say, he tell her, say, how much be the money? I mean, I saw some of the videos he sent. He not thief cover the money. The woman said they look for money. He didn't sign back. Now that is money that they target. You can't save money in their house. They will come for it. take them. You go go back. That that two years where you use for their country, you are going back empty. 
Many people don't go back empty. Some people say they fight for their life. Some of them will be women. I don't, I'm not encouraging women to go to some of this Middle East. At least for the men, it's still better. But for the women, I don't think it's proper. Not all of them, or some of them, they will treat you nice. You come back home with your... But majority of them are so bad and weird. And you will come and ask yourself, is that the holy land? I'll tell you a story about a lady that talked to me yesterday. She was in Saudi Arabia for some years. You know, carry anything, come back. The person where they give money to send, come back to an Africa lot, they give up. You know, they hear me? Where did they go send money? Not be only among all of the girls where they go that place. Go send money through that person to Nigeria. Fake a lot. When all of them come no send a fake a lot, they can't come. All of them can't gather together, come that place. Carry somebody, we go they carry somebody will be Saudi also to go and uh, they call that person aside. Bribe her. Tell the girls, when I won't leave this country at Teach you how to be holy. Love one another. That's the only how to, that's the only way to be holy. Upon all the Middle East, the only country where they practice, where respect, apart from their war, I'm not talking about their war. Normally in the country you are respected. Nobody comes for you. If you don't find trouble for Israel, you don't get problem. Here, they don't keep you as a slave. Nobody take your passport. Go to Saudi Arabia if you don't go take your passport. Go to Lebanon if they don't go take your passport. Go to Omar where they don't go take your passport. All these countries, they seize your passport. Israel doesn't do that. They know they give holiday. You are going to work from Monday to Monday. And your salary no go pass $200 for two years. No off day. You know they got off day. If you get luck, say you don't get the man where they go, they sleep with you. You can't go anywhere. They will be sleeping with you. Some of them, oh, it's happened to our ladies. They go sleep. If you get belay, they go come out the belay. If the wife of that person knows, say the husband they sleep with you, not that, not that be that too. She gonna, she gonna kill you and they feel bury you. Your parents go there for where, for where? What thing they want to do them? You don't hear since where our people don't they go all these countries. You don't hear say they arrest any of them put for prison. Anything where they do, they cover it up. You as an African, they treat you as a garbage. They treat you as what? Garbage. But still, you are going to use that their religion fighting your own brothers. Israel is defending themselves against jihadists. And you as an African Muslim, Israel is a genocide. Israel is genocide. Okay, okay. It's okay. Me, I stand by the truth. If, if Israel fuck up, I go talk where Israel fuck up. Since I come here, they are always defending themselves. They are always peace. They want peace. The prime minister of this country in 2018, 2019 or thereabout. This man go to all Arab country. They beg them, may they unite. When I know if we talk that one. He, he, they call it Abraham Accord. He went to Saudi Arabia. He went to Egypt. He went to Jordan. He went to UAE. Fighting. Netanyahu went to their place. Nobody say he's there for TV. They talk him. He went to Saudi Arabia. Meet with the king of Saudi. Say, please, let us unite. If we don't unite, we fight these jihadist people together. We can't keep fighting like this, my people. Saudi Arabia declined. Do you know why they declined? If Saudi Arabia take that Abraham Accord, Qatar no want at all. Iran no want at all. Jordan have accord with Israel. Egypt accept accord with Israel. Saudi Arabia, no, no, no. Um, Dubai Emirates accept. Omar accept. Omar, 
Israel got an embassy in Oma. Oma is a Muslim country. They are set. Jordan. So from onset, Jordan are good to go with Israel people. The Jordanis, they are good to go with them. But their dream is not to unite in Middle East. I mean, the extremists who are in Iran, Iraq, I mean, uh, Iran, Hezbollah, Gaza, uh, Hamas. They will come play their propaganda for television. Israel don't buy all of them finish for has Gaza. It's a lie. Israel is fighting Hamas. Hamas is an organization who doesn't want the existence of the Jewish people. Simple fact. Hezbollah is an organization who don't want the existence of the Jewish people based on their religion. Can't you see that they are fighting religion, not the land themselves? If it is the land, I think it will be settled. They have a lot of land in this country. Jericho is big. Nazareth is big. All these places are Arab states. If you go all these places, they are filthy because they are busy fighting. The money that United Nations is giving them, they are using the money to buy ammunition to make sure that Israel does not exist. They are defending themselves. Do you think it come easy? Under three days, where Jewish people, where the IDF enter Les Lebanon with boots, they go fight on ground. Within 24 hours, eight soldiers of them don't buy. Do you think it is sweet them? No. Those where they follow me for my WhatsApp, I share the picture of that guy. There's one of them who, who was praying for the new year. He was praying for the new year. Before he remains small, make new year come. He don't buy for you don't buy they don't buy him. They are defending their country. Going into Lebanon to fight those Hezbollah is they want to clear, they, they just want to they their, their aim is just to you that you are terrorists, come out and fight. We are ready to die. Come out, they go they run, they go they dodge. That's the same thing that happened in Gaza. Sometimes you guys drag me to talk about this uh, politics religion. Anyway, thank you very much. I have to go. Bye bye. <laughs> I'm going now. I don't talk too much. You know, are they there emotional? Where are they talking? Because the world is not getting at peace with these extremist Arab uh, uh, Muslims who don't want peace. They tell you they are fighting for freedom. They aren't fighting for freedom. Go and listen to the Arab reg uh, Iran regime. Go to your phone. Go and find out what they are saying. They say, we need we don't need the zionists in this land they are the one who is putting palestina into what they are what is happening to them now they are supposed to live in peace if you see a palestinian what different does he is he to israel the jewish people they are the same ordinary indigenous jewish person where we say it's not mixed with european blood if you see a, a Palestinian, you see a, you see an Israeli. Do you understand what I'm saying? When you see a Palestinian and you see an indigenous Jewish person, they look the same. There's no difference, except the ones that are mixed with uh, European blood. So what makes them different? They are brothers. They're supposed to share. Thank you very much, guys. I have to go. Thank you. Bye bye.